Hi guys, one of the cool things you can do with After Effects is that you can make a project once but use it multiple times. Well, in this video you will learn how to create a logo animation that allows you to easily change your logo without having to redo the whole animation process. But if you're new to motion graphics and After Effects and you're unsure about the path to becoming a pro motion designer, I highly recommend checking out my Motion Hero course. Before we start, I have to say a big thanks to everyone liking and commenting on my videos. Your support is super important to me. Ok, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. First, I select the logo layers and put them in a new comp and name it logo. Then by the ellipse tool, I create a circle like this. I open the position and create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline. Then on the second 5, I move it up and reverse them. In order to use this shape as a mask, I alpha met the logo to the shape layer. Let's see how it looks. To add a noisy look to the edges, I apply the turbulent displace effect to the shape and set its amount to 200, size to 30 and complexity to 10. Let's see it again. Then I add the mosaic effect to this layer. I set the horizontal blinks to 40 and the vertical blinks to 20. This creates a mosaic effect on the edges. To enhance the appearance of mosaics, I also add the sharpen effect to the shape and set its amount to 350. As you can see, it looks much better now. Afterward, I select both layers and pre-comp them and I name it Logo Reveal. After adding the fill effect to the comp and change its color to white, I duplicate it. Then I alpha invert mat the lower layer to the upper one and I move the upper layer 10 frames forward. Let's check it out. Well, it's good. To remove the white color around the logo, I add the Minimax effect to the lower layer. And set the operation to minimum and change its channel to alpha and color. Then I adjust its radiance to 1. As you can see, it looks much better now. I put them in a new com and change its name. After that, I go to the project panel and move the logo reveal com below this com and change the blend mode of the mosaic comp to screen. Let's check it out. Looks good. Then I add the CC glass effect to the mosaic comp. In the effects control panel under surface, I set its property to alpha, softness to 1, height to minus 50, and displacement to 200. Let's see how it looks. Very good. Then I add the displacement map effect to the mosaic comp and set its max horizontal to 200 and the max vertical to 0. Then I duplicate this effect and change its max horizontal to minus 200. To add colors, I add the colorama effect. Under input phase, I set the add phase to mosaic scan. And under output cycle, I choose the deep ocean. You can choose whatever color palette you prefer, but since this preset is close enough to the logo color palette, I think it fits best. And then I add the glow effect to it. I set the glow threshold to 53 and the radiance to 3. Then I duplicate it and change the threshold to 30 and radiance to 194. And for the last one, I set the threshold to 69 and radiance to 222. Let's check it out. After that, I duplicate the mosaic comp and delete all the effects. Let me solo this new comp. And I add the fine edges effect to it and enable the invert option. 
Then I copy the logo comp from the logo reveal comp and paste it on top of all the other comps. I solo it and add the Vegas effect to it. I set it segment to 3, blend mode to transparent, width to 1, start opacity to 0, and end opacity to 1. Then in the beginning of the timeline, I create a keyframe for its rotation. I hit U to see the keyframes. Then I go to second 5 and change it to 180 degrees. And change its color to gray. And I make the keyframes easy. Let's check it out. Looks good. After that, I add the class effect to this comp. I set the height to 100 and displacement to 0. Under shading, I set its diffuse to 100. Then to change the color of the lines, I add the colorama effect to it. Under input phase, I set the phase shift to minus 75 and blend with original to 33. Let's check it out. Seems good. After that, I add the glow effect to this comp. And set the radiance to 40. Then I open the opacity and create a keyframe at the beginning of the timeline and set it to 0. In the third second, I create another keyframe and set it to 100. Then in second 5, I create a keyframe with the same value. After the animation is over, 10 frames ahead, I create another keyframe and set it to 0. I make these three keyframes easy ease. I hit you to see the keyframes. Let's check it out. Very good. I also load the layer to see how the animation looks so far. Looks amazing. I select all the layers and put them in a new comb and name it logo animation. After that, to create a 3D floor, I create a solid. And I add the fractal noise effect to it. In the effects control panel, I set the fractal type to dynamic twist, contrast to 200, brightness to minus 35, and evolution to 100. Then I make the layer 3D and open its rotation. I set the X rotation to minus 90, and I move it down. I make it slightly bigger. And make the logo smaller. Looks good. Then I put the floor layer in a new comp. Enable move all attributes option and hit OK. I put it below the logo animation. I duplicate the logo animation comp and name it reflection. To make a reflection on the floor, I right click on the reflection comp go to transform and click on flip vertical. Then I adjust its position on the floor. I open its scale and set its Y to minus 25. And I set its opacity to 75. Then I add an adjustment layer and move it on top of the reflection and floor comps. After that, I add the compound blur effect to it and set the blur layer to floor and the maximum blur to 100. I hide the floor layer and add the CC class effect to the adjustment layer. I set its bump map to floor, its softness to 0, height to 15, and displacement to 50. Let's check it out the results. Well, it's great. I also add the directional blur to the reflection comp. And I set its direction to 90 degrees and blur length to 15. Let's check it out. Looks good. In the next step, I want to add the camera movement to the animation as well. To do that, first I create a camera. 
default settings are fine and hit OK. To properly animate the camera layer, I will control it with a null object and parent the camera to the null. And I make the logo animation comp null object and the reflection comp 3D. I also enable this option for the floor layer to react the movement of the camera. First, I open the position of the null. I head over to the second 5 and create a keyframe and set its Y to 666. So the logo places at the center of the scene. Then I go back to the beginning and create another keyframe. I set its Z to 685 and its Y to 540 to achieve such a zoom out animation for the camera. I also want to add a rotation to the camera animation. I open the rotation of the null. In the second 5, I create a keyframe for the X rotation. Then I go back to the start and change the value to minus 12. Well, it's very well. After that, I select the null and hit U to see the keyframes and make the last two keyframes easy ease. But I want to increase the influence a bit. For that, I right click on this keyframe and in the keyframe velocity, I set both influences to 78. I do the same for this one too. Now let's preview the results. As you see, the camera movement is relatively fast at the start, but in the end it reduces. Ok, let's create a background for our animation. Create a solid and name it BG. Then place it below all the layers. After that, I add the gradient ramp effect to it. I hit the swap colors and change the start color to this one. Let's check it out. I think it's good. After that, I add the light sweep effect to the logo reveal comp. I set its direction to minus 122, width to 110, and sweep intensity to 80. To animate it, I go to the second 3 and create a keyframe for the center. I hit U, then in the second 3, I place the center location here and 10 frames after the end of the animation I move it here I solo the logo reveal comp so I can only see this comp then I make both keyframes easy ease and now let's see how it looks looks good I unsolo it so I can see how the overall animation looks like. It's amazing. To make the floor layer a bit more interesting, I can add a watery animation to the floor. To do so, I open the floor comp. While the floor layer is selected by holding Alt and left clicking on the sandwich of evolution, I type time star 100. This expression makes the noises move continuously and avoids the flow of water. Let's back to the start com and see the results. As you can see the animation I wanted was made. To make the floor sharper, I select the adjustment layer and in the CC classifying, I set the displacement to 400. Let's see it again. It's better now. Well, the animation process is done. And now you can navigate to the logo comp. Feel free to replace any logo of your choice, allowing you to experience this amazing animation on it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.